Hey everybody, welcome to Grace with Paul Gray. Today we're continuing our topic this week called Freely and Lightly as opposed to Bound Up Tightly. And we learned yesterday from Jesus' conversation with some folks in, as recorded in Matthew 11 that he said the problem with everybody in the world was that nobody knew his Father, God, and nobody knew him. They didn't know who they really were. They had uh, contrived ideas of what God is like. And he said, as a result, people all over are tired, they're worn out, they're burned out by religion because they got a wrong impression of God. And religion, my definition that I've gotten from Steve McVeigh and others, is any attempt by mankind to gain or maintain a right relationship with any fictitious small g God and, of course, they are all the figment of evil imagination. Jesus said, well, the solution is drop religion and get to know him and the Father and the Holy Spirit. And he said, when you do that, the result is you will recover your true life. You'll be at rest. You'll live freely and lightly. Here's part of the passage from Matthew 11. Jesus is talking to these religious leaders, Jewish people, Pharisees, Sadducees, highly religious people, and he says, none of you know the Father, not a single one of you. He says, as a matter of fact, nobody who's ever lived has known the Father, and none of you know me. He said, nobody knows the Father the way I do, nobody knows me the way the Father knows me. But he said, look, I'm not keeping this knowledge to myself. He said, I'm, I'm ready to go over it line by line with anyone who is willing to listen. Then he says, this great passage, are you tired? Are you worn out? Are you burned out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or real fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Yesterday, we talked about a couple of things in that passage. First of all, coming to Jesus, who is in us. We don't have to go looking for him. And second, away, second, getting away with Jesus. Get away from the hustle and bustle and from all the noise and all that kind of stuff. Find a quiet place and get away with it. Now, today, three more things, application things, that come from this very small passage, but very powerful passage. The first one of these is to hang out with Jesus. Get to know him. You come to him, you get away with him, and then you stay there with him. You just hang out with him and get to know what he's like. Well, how do we do that since we can't see him? <laughs> we can listen to him. We can hear him. He's given us ears to hear and spiritual eyes to see. We don't focus on what we can see. Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 4, 18, we focus on the unseen, which is real and eternal. So we hang out with Jesus, we get to know him, and we do that by being willing to listen. Because when we hang out with him and we have a genuine, real attitude, and by the way, he can read our minds, that we're going to listen to him and we're going to go with whatever he says then he just opens the floodgates and he starts revealing stuff to us all the time. If we have an attitude of, well, I want to listen to you, but uh, if I don't like what you say, the heck with you. I'm going to do things my own way. I found that he just pretty much doesn't talk. But when we're willing to listen, be willing to listen. He says, come to me. Get away with me. I'll show you. Come to me and listen. So, we just be willing to listen to him with a no but attitude. We say, yeah, no Jesus, but uh, no. We, you don't do that with God. I mean, you can, but <laughs> it's not a good, he's not going to get angry or mad with you. It's just non-productive. And the third thing with him is then just walk with him throughout the day. The Bible uses the phrase walk with him, which means just to hang out all day long, to know that he's with you, he's in you, he's listening to you, and just do life with him all day. So these sound simple, but when you grasp them and you put them all together and then actually take action on them, 
then things start to really change. So as Jesus says, come to him, get away with him, hang out with him, get to know him, know him, listen to him, have a teachable attitude, be willing to do whatever it is he says, agree with whatever he says, and then just do life with him all day. And as we do those, and a couple of more things that we're going to talk about in uh, the next couple of days, we'll find that we learn to live freely and lightly as opposed to bound up tightly. All right. Hey, let me know uh, if these things are uh, helping you in your life. You can uh, give me a personal message here uh, on whatever site you're seeing this on. Uh, you can uh, email me at convertibleconversations at gmail.com. If we're already friends, you know, give me a call or whatever. I just, I like to know uh, who's watching and how this is helping. I got a, a wonderful uh, set of messages from a new friend in Scotland uh, yesterday. And it's just, it really uh, encouraged me and built me up and edified me to know that somebody across the pond uh, is being blessed by these messages and Steve McVeigh's and uh, Don Keithley's and others. So uh, let me know. Thanks a lot. See you next time.